What's up, Yu-Gi-Oh fans? Welcome back to Budget Builds. My name is Asling, and today we are going to be talking about the Omni Hero build. We're going to be starting off with two Elemental Hero Stratos. We're going to pair it off with two Elemental Hero Shadow Mist and one Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. We don't need too many of the small Elemental Heroes. They all surge well into each other, so they all have really good chemistry with themselves. But uh, the real stars of this deck are going to be our Vision Hero Ferris, two Vision Hero Increase, and two Vision Hero Vio. I like to run two of all of these cards. The only way that I would change it is I would probably want, uh, want to run three Ferris. You always want to have two Increase. If you have one in your opening hand, having another one in your deck is really important for the uh, combos to go off. So I'm always on the two Increase tree. Moving forward, we're going to have two Destiny Hero Malicious and one Destiny Hero Denier. What could be said about these cards that hasn't been said already? These cards are unbelievably powerful. They are uh, combo starters for the deck. And we're going to also run one Destiny Hero Plasma and one Destiny Hero Dark Angel. Now these cards are really good. Against certain decks, you want to side them out. Uh, but, you know, against Sky Strikers or Branded, Dark Angel basically wins you the game. And then Plasma is going to be able to cover you for basically any other deck. Like, summoning Plasma, especially against, like, Cash, you're, you're, you're set. We're going to go with two Ash Blossom, Joy Spring. It's one of the best cards in the game. You can't argue it. For more hand traps, I like to run one Spirit Neos and one Honest Neos. Both these cards are good for different reasons. Spirit Neos, in my opinion, is one of the best cards in the deck. It, you can search it out and then it can protect you for uh, the second turn where you're about to get OTK'd. And then you can bounce back with some Rainbow Neos plays. Speaking of Rainbow Neos plays, I like to run one Vanilla Neos and one Rainbow Neos. The Vanilla Neos is also really, really helpful for the Shiny Neos Wingman plays, uh, which we're going to get into in just a little bit. So, that's it for the main deck monsters. Moving forward, we have three copies of A Hero Lives, and I like to run two copies of E-Emergency Call with a Reinforcements of the Army. These cards are all really good at fishing out your one-card starters and really facilitating your combos. And then to add to the E-Emergency Calls, I like to add one D-Force. Uh, this card's like a fun tech, and it basically makes your Destiny Hero Plasma a god card. So this card is honestly unreal. Being able to pull that uh, combo off, it's really, really hard to get around. Moving forward, it's a fusion deck, so let's get some fusion cards. I got one Miracle and two Poly. Two Poly is really important in this deck. And then two Mask Change. Some people like to run three. I'm a, I'm a two of kind of guy. And then I also like to run three Fusion Destiny. Fusion Destiny is a one card starter of the deck, and let me tell you, it, it, it should be banned. Maybe, maybe limited, maybe semi, but uh, having three is really, really nice. I also like to run one Neos Fusion. Neos Fusion gets you out the Rainbow Neos plays for turn three, and it really helps you swing for game. So that's going to be it for the Fusion cards. Um, I also like to run a couple staples. We got Called by the Grave. We got two Dark Ruler No More. Called by should be in every single hero deck, potentially in every single deck. And Dark Ruler really helps fight against every other deck. Uh, you can pull out the uh, Dark Rulers to bring it down to a 40 card deck. But the last card is going to be Favorite Contact. This card is unbelievable. When this card came out, it changed the game for heroes. Because with this one card, you can fusion summon into like basically anything in the fusion deck. It fuses from hand, field, banish pile, grave, wherever you want it to. And it helps you bring out your elemental hero, Shining Neos Wingman. This card is insane. Being able to summon it out, you basically get two pops for free as a quick effect, so it's basically a double DPE for one turn, and you summon it on your opponent's turn. It's really, really powerful combo, really, really good cards. And another boss monster in the deck is Rainbow Neos, like I said. Really, really helps you clear a board. So, moving forward with our fusion deck, we're gonna have one elemental hero, Flame Wingman, the Infernal Rage. It's one of the new cards. It searches you out the favorite contact trap card, and it basically facilitates the deck. We're also gonna have the element to here, Sunrise. Once you have Flame Wingman on board, you can trade him out for Sunrise, which gets you a free Miracle Fusion, and that's an additional monster. And for some Miracle Fusion targets, I like to use Wake Up Your Elemental Hero and Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. Absolute Zero is a really good card because it's a board wipe. Wake Up Your Elemental Hero is another one of the new support cards that lets you uh, really combo off. With some Masked Heroes, I like to run one Acid, and then I also like to run two Dark Law. One Acid is nice because it ward, uh, wipes your opponent's board of the back row, and then Dark Law is one of the best floodgates. We only summon Dark Law, sometimes it just makes your opponent spoof. 
So it's really nice. That's it for the fusion deck. Let's finish things off with our Link Monsters. We got two Extra Hero Cross Crusader. It's another really, really good card, dude. There's not much to say about it. It's basically you summon it, and you get a free plus one. Infernal Divisor, another card you basically search out your Elements of Hero Neos for free. And Wonder Driver. This card's crazy, man. You get to be able to use all of your fusion cards, and then once you're done with them, you can set them back onto your field, so you get to use them again next turn. And last, and potentially least, the Extra Hero Dread Decimator. This card's good for uh, swinging for games sometimes, but the real star of the Link cards are the Wonder Driver and Infernal Divisor. So, let's head into the side deck. I haven't actually revealed my side deck in many, uh, many videos, but we're going to start with three evenly matched. This card is fantastic. There's no arguing its, uh, its inclusion. Three, Dimensional Barrier. This card has won me so many games. Like, it's actually unbelievable. Recently, I actually won a, a hero ditto with this card, so that was really helpful. Three, Rivalry of Warlords. I actually haven't gotten this card until very, very recently, so it's nice that I have a playset now. And it's always helpful in heroes. I like to run Protection of the Elements, Cosmic Cyclone, Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, my third Dark Ruler No More, and then I like to toss in two Bestial Baldrakes. This has uh, been a fun tech, and it, uh, it really catches people off guard. No one's expecting to see this in the hero build. So, that's it for the Elemental Heroes, the Omni Heroes, the Vision Heroes, and the Destiny Heroes. It's all fantastic. It's so much fun to play. I really recommend the deck, especially with the new support cards. Infernal Rage, Shining Neos Wingman, and Favorite Contact. These are probably my favorite cards in the entire game right now. I can't even lie. So... We'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment. Tell me how would you build your Omni Hero deck. And we'll see you in the next one.